Hey guys, I hope you're doing well today. It's me, Kat, and today I'm bringing you a huge haul um, and a brand overview on the company Bobble Bar. So before I get into showing you all the amazing jewelry pieces I picked up, um, I wanted to discuss a little bit about the company and why I love it so much and why I think you guys would love it too. Um, this is definitely not sponsored by the company, anything like that. I just really like the company, I like the jewelry, I like everything about it, and I think you guys would greatly benefit from checking it out too if you do like accessories. And yes, this is from Bobble Bar, and these are from Bobble Bar too. <clears throat> so, let me get into it. So, the Bobble Bar story, I'm going to talk about when Bobble Bar was founded, um, a little bit about the founders and their mission, and um, just give you guys some clarity. So. Bobble Bar was founded in 2011 when two women, Amy and Daniela, they realized that while shopping, they didn't feel like any retailer was truly um, meeting the need for jewelry in a satisfying way. And as shoppers, they basically felt like jewelry was being treated as an afterthought. So once they realized that that need was there, they basically set to fixing it. And they've created a company that I feel truly does meet that need that they felt other retailers don't. So. Bobble Bar was started and the mission of these two women was to create an ultimate source for jewelry, fashion jewelry, by offering unparalleled selection and shoppable style guidance at a guilt-free price point. So if you're wondering why I'm looking down, I do have my laptop in front of me. I like made a ton of notes so I can go over all the points. Um, if there's anything that I don't touch on, I'm definitely going to do a write-up on my blog so you can find the link to that in the description box below. Okay, so... The next point, I guess, would be how does the company manage to offer so many different beautiful jewelry pieces at a guilt-free um, price point? So they get technical on their website, which I appreciate because it's company transparency and that means they're sharing everything about the company and how it works with um, the customer. So the company strips out the overhead and sources their product directly to avoid any middleman markup. Whereas most retailers, and I didn't know this till I read this on their site, most retailers mark jewelry up as high as 20 times above the cost. Um, the Bobble Bar team works closely with their suppliers to introduce new product um, <clears throat> on a constant basis and they tailor their selection based on feedback from shoppers. So, um, you know, part of doing all that means that they get to introduce new pieces weekly as opposed to new pieces on a seasonal basis, which most other retailers can only offer. So now I'm going to touch on all the media um, that Bobble Bar has gotten and I'm just going to read a list of the magazines they've been featured in. So, Lucky Magazine, Shape Magazine, Life and Style, Marie Claire, US Weekly, Time Out New York, In Style Magazine, Glamour, Lucky, Star Magazine, Oprah Magazine, OK Magazine, Harper's Bazaar, Cosmopolitan, Seventeen, and People Magazine. So that's a lot of people. Um, <clears throat> that just goes to show you just how big Bobble Bar has gotten and um, the fact that so many different media outlets have kind of picked them up and like featured them in their magazines. It's kind of a big deal, in my opinion. So how did I hear of Bobble Bar? So I first heard of Bobble Bar, I believe, through the YouTube grapevine. And Miss Glamorazzi, who's a huge beauty guru, I'm pretty sure you guys all follow her. Um, but she mentioned it in a video, I think. Um, and I took a look at the website. And the second I went on the website, I was like in love. Like I really was. But um, even though the prices were actually pretty decent, especially for the kind of quality um, the pieces were, because they're just all so chic and stylish and glamorous and you know, it's, it's kind of like everything I would ever want um, in jewelry selection, but even though it was a guilt-free price point um, and it really wasn't that much for the pieces, I just didn't have the money at the time to be spending. Um, I really didn't have that much expendable cash. I wasn't working at that point. This was 2011 um, and I was still in school, <clears throat> so I really didn't get to buy that much. But over the next year, year and a half, I believe, I did pick up a couple of pieces here and there when I could afford to, um, and then I started looking at the website more, I would say, towards the end of 2012, near Christmas, and then they, they announced that they were going to have a pop-up shop um, in January, and that was going to be in New York City, where I live, in the Meatpacking District, I believe, near the High Line. 
So I was super excited um, about that because they have a bobble bar location in New York, but you kind of have to make an appointment to go there and it's more of a professional real deal kind of thing because they show you how to layer different looks, they style you with jewelry, and I think it's more for people who are definitely looking to purchase and brides. I know they offer um, services for brides to help accessorize their wedding day. Um, so I never went to that location just because it seemed more like legit, I guess, and I really just wanted to take a look around. So they announced they were having a pop-up shop, and they also announced that I think the first few people to show up on either the first two or maybe first three days that the pop-up shop was open, um, starting from each day whenever the shop opened, I think the first either 25 or 50 people got a gift card. Um, so I like got up bright and early. I have a video actually detailing this experience, so I'll link it somewhere. Um, but I got up bright and early. I was so, so like nervous. I really wanted to be one of the first few people. To make a long story short, I was. I was so happy and I got a gift card for I, I believe $25, so I was able to get an item I had my eye on for a while and only pay I think $7 after the $25 was taken off. So when I went to the pop-up shop, it was just beautiful. Um, it was gorgeous, I loved the way that they decorated, um, they really made the space super glamorous, and it just felt fun being in there. Um, I really liked it. So that basically changed things for me. I went back to visit the pop-up shop a couple times, um, and then they closed and they moved back to their permanent location. So fast forward uh, two months, maybe two, three months, I finally managed to get my first gig, um, a job I worked part time. And later on I got another job. So I'm right now I'm working two jobs. So basically what that equals is more money, not feeling like a pauper. Um, so I've been visiting them and they have a new pop-up shop. They've had a new one for the summer and it's in Soho. And it's actually closing in a week, I believe. Um, I believe it's closing August 16th. And today is August 11th, I think. So basically, I've been visiting like every week, splurging, um, just loving it. And yeah, so basically, over the past half year, I've kind of really been picking up a ton more stuff from them. So anyway, um, let's see. I wanna touch on a few things uh, that I love about the company, the first one being Programming and collaborations. Bobble Bar works extremely hard to get great programming for their customers. So they're always collaborating with other brands to create like a fun experience for their customers. Um, they have worked with, they've worked with DKNY. I was there just yesterday and they had a, a ton of clothes from DKNY at the Soho pop-up shop. Sorry, that was a pop-up shop. Um, and They've also uh, worked with Godiva, I believe, has sort of created like a chocolate bar um, at the shop that was in the beginning of the summer. And they've, they've basically collaborated with like a bunch of different brands. Um, and so it just creates a fun atmosphere. Um, and for the Soho pop-up shop, they've had like an events calendar online. So you can check it out and see like everything that's being offered on which days. So that's really cool, I like that. Um, I think it shows that their marketing is working really hard just to create like a great experience. Um, and then, let's see. So they have daily activities, like I mentioned, they collaborate with different brands. Um, they have fun activities, like they have a photo booth at their Soho pop-up shop, which is really cute and like a box of different things you can dress up and decorate with. Um, but actually, I went yesterday, I took a few pictures, and my friend helped me email it to myself because there's a little thing where you can like type in your email and it sends it to you. But I actually didn't get my pictures. I got like two other people's pictures. So I don't know if the photo booth was acting a little screwy or if my friend made a mistake, but that's kind of disappointing. Um, so yeah, but it was fun nonetheless. And then also they had a free vending machine um, because they collaborated with a food brand. I can't remember which, but it was free. Like literally you like punched in whichever one you wanted. like you know, super chocolatey or sweet or something to like gear you up for working out like and you clicked it and then it just like dropped out and there were so many options and it was a completely free vending machine like I could have got as much as I wanted so that was amazing to me. So sorry but since I was talking about the brand's generosity and their cleverness and promotions I wanted to share this with you. Um, it turns out the founders have the same birthday and a couple days ago they put all these cute pictures in their site and they're actually giving a deal. Um, look how cute that is. I love the jewelry inspiration they're giving me but 
Um, they actually have 16 different deals going on for $10 when they're normally priced more than that. And there's also a prize pinata that you can play. Um, so you enter your email address and then you get to click the little pinata which swings. And I, for example, got $10 and they emailed that to me. So I thought that was super clever of them and helpful. So anyway, guys, just thought I would share that with you. Okay, bye! I touched on their premises already, so I mentioned that they have a permanent shop, and that's on 26th Street and 5th Avenue, and I believe it's called The Bar, um, you know, because of Bobble Bar, and let's see, you make an appointment for it, there's a train team that is supposed to be able to style you and show you how to create different combinations and looks. Promotions. Bobble Bar has had a few great promotions, as I talked about, um, for the pop-up shop in January, they had those free gift cards um, for like the first few people that were showing up. And then, uh, let's see, I think another day, a week or two down the line, they had uh, gift cards for anybody who walked in the shop all day, and it was like a mystery kind of thing, so it was different amounts. And I was sad because I got one that was only like 5 or $10, but my friend got one that was like 25 I believe, or 20 So that was fun, and you know, people didn't have to wake up early for that one. They got to just get it no matter what. Also in the January pop-up shop, they had something really fun, which was a whole table piled sky high with like treats, um, little mystery gifts basically and all you had to do was punch in your email address which I guess put you into their system to be able to send you stuff and you got a free mystery gift um, and then also if you Instagrammed uh, the mystery gift or yourself in the shop anything like that you got another gift so that's two gifts for free um, just for a couple of social media things so I thought that was really great um, Let's see, that's also in the video I mentioned, so once again I will link it somewhere and you can see the kind of treats I got. Uh, let's see, I should mention about the treats that it was kind of like hit or miss, like I really liked two, two of the things I got, which was like a necklace and uh, earring studs, but the other one, I got another one, I, I don't know if my friend gave it to me or what the case was, but it was like not that cute. Uh, so yeah, but overall I still definitely give them props for handing out mystery gifts in general, like a lot of companies do not do as much, they're not as generous to their customers. Right. Reward system, and we're almost done, I swear, I'm pretty sure I've been talking for like 10 to 15 minutes, my voice is like dying, but their reward system is great. So every dollar you spend on a purchase from Bobble Bar, um, you get one point, and every 10 points equals to one dollar off a future purchase. Okay, so to give you an example, um, let's say I spend $30 on a necklace, that equals 30 points, and for every 10 points, um, you get a dollar off your future purchase, right? So 30 points would equal three dollars off a future purchase And so I think that's a pretty great deal because you're basically gonna get a discount even if it is like a dollar a couple dollars um, You know, it's still something and so I give them props for that. I love that and uh, I kind of forgot about my points for a while and then when I realized they were there I like redeemed them and it gave me like a completely free gift because that's how much I've been shopping there So that was great so, uh, I just want to touch on the packaging quite quickly. This is super cute. Um, these are the bags that I've got from the pop-up shop. <clears throat> and then I ordered something, and it came in this, which I think is really cute. Nope, not there. Here. Um, it's really cute. Let me see. So this is what the inside looks like, and it was just sitting here really cute, nicely wrapped. And uh, I just want to give you a quick example. Uh, this is what the pouches look like that all the accessories come in. I think it's really cute. Um, so it just has like this snap kind of closure. And then, yeah, just right in here. That's where the jewelry is. But also, there was one day where I was heading over to um, Bobble Bar, and they just had one of their team members on the street corner like handing out uh, like $15 off cards, I think. Um, just to anybody who was interested in going and I thought that was like amazing like um, I was like to the girl like I was kind of wondering what she was giving out so we're sort of like edged closer and then she was like hi do you want to check out our jewelry store and you know blah 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 and I was like bobble bar and she's like yeah and I was like I'm headed there right now she's like oh really I'm like yeah this is from there she's like oh great well here you go and I take it and I'm like oh, $15 oh my god and I was just like yay um, excitement so yeah so they're great okay Moving on to the actual haul, let's get into it. I put all of my pieces in this <clears throat> bag of fun. <clears throat> so in no particular order, I'm just gonna grab the pieces and talk about them. So this piece is a necklace, I believe. 
Okay, here it is. At first I was trying to save the price tags to show you guys, but it was like literally enabling me not to wear them. Um, so I was just like, okay, I'm not gonna film this for another month or so, so I just have to start ripping them off. But I believe this was 30 something, I'll put the price. And it's just really pretty. Um, it's just basically like a little cute crystal looking kind of like chain or ID tag kind of. And this gold chain, which is pretty thick and I like it. Um, it comes with like this long strand of extension, which is great because then you can adjust it to be um, a lot shorter or a lot longer, depending on what you like. Next up, I should mention the necklace I'm wearing. This was $48, which is the most I've ever spent there. Um, that's, that's a lot, but I really liked it. I had my eye on it all summer, um, and I was just like, screw this, I'm gonna buy it. Okay, like whatever, I deserve it. Um, even though I don't really, but whatever. Um, but I just basically splurged and I got this and it's super pretty. I think it's one of their best selling pieces. Uh, actually, I know it's one of their best selling pieces because it says on the website. Um, so yeah, love it. So they were having a promotion the week of 4th of July. And I think it was for every $20 spent, you got a free bracelet. Um, these kinds of bracelets though, it, was, it wasn't just like any random bracelet. But these are really cute. So I got two of them and I was super excited. The only thing I wasn't excited about was like the colors green and yellow. Um, they're not really that neutral. I think yellow is kind of neutral, but um, I prefer I prefer neutral. So I was a little like, uh, how am I going to incorporate this? But actually, I love them now that I'm looking at them. Um, and I got another two, I think, for another promotion. So I'll show you guys that as we get to it. So this one has got to be my favorite, one of my favorite pieces. It's this gorgeous white necklace. And I actually have a picture of how I styled this on Instagram, as well as um, in a work and haul, no, huh, work and casual haul video. And I paired a bunch of the bubble bar pieces actually with things I had just picked up in that video. So if you wanna see how I kind of rock a few of these pieces, you can definitely check that video out and I'll link it down below. Um, so yeah, but this piece is amazing. It's gorgeous. It's just like this amazing white statement necklace. Okay, my camera just stopped, which means that I've already filmed for 20 minutes. I have no idea why this is taking so long. I'm so sorry. But anyway, this piece is amazing. One of my favorites. I really like this. And what I loved was that seeing it in the pop-up shop, it made me realize just how great it was because I could um, try it on in person. And so there are a lot of pieces I've picked up that had I seen them online, I never would have gotten them because I've checked the website and I just feel like seeing them in person and uh, putting them on it just was so far beyond comparison with just looking at it so but this little thing is let's see oh there's no price tag or there was but I probably ripped it off here are the two bracelets I talked about that I said I got in another promotion completely free I forget what the promotion was um, shoot, I forget, I'm sorry guys, I forget what the promotion was, but it was very similar to the other one, and I got these two free amazing things, and I loved it because when I came around um, the second time, and it was the second promotion, they had so much better selection, like, these are gorgeous, I just feel like these are amazing, whereas the other ones weren't so much my cup of tea, so I was really happy that I got to sort of like get a second chance to score a couple of freebies that were more my taste. So this piece I absolutely love, it's this gorgeous delicate bracelet, and they offer three versions of this bracelet. They offer this beautiful, cute, delicate one, as well as a medium-sized one for layering, um, at least that's what they recommend you can do with it, and then also a big, beautiful, chunky one. And that one looks just like the one I have from J. Crew, which costs like $125. My sweet boyfriend bought it for me. Thank you, Nick. Um, but uh, I got that for Valentine's Day. Anyway, so they offer that same bracelet for way cheaper. I think there's $78. And then you can also find some on Etsy that look pretty similar, so that bracelet's like all the rage right now. But they offer, so the big one, the medium one, and this one, which is so cute. And I think this is around 40 something dollars. I love this one. Okay, so as I'm trying to unravel it, this is a gorgeous, delicate um, necklace. It's like super petite. And I love my statement necklaces, but I think that, um, 
I think that delicate necklaces are also incredibly beautiful. So, here it is. It's really pretty. It has these three tiny little, like, gold and, like, you know, glittery, rhinestone-y little tiny delicate balls. And it comes with, once again, a nice long extension piece. And a lot of them have, like, this long piece, which I think is great because it really does give the customer a lot more flexibility to play with the lengths. This guy, I love. This one was the first statement necklace I bought from the pop-up shop. I'm just trying to... Okay, here it is. It's stunning. I adore this necklace. And this necklace also looks fantastic with this black dress. I wore it to work and I got quite a few compliments. So I absolutely love this. And once again, I say I, I looked at it online, never would have caught my eye. I would have just thought, oh, that's too flashy for me. Not really my taste. But this, I swear to you, like, I don't know why I have to shake it sometimes to get all the things to like fall. But I swear when I tried it on, I knew I could not walk out without owning it. Um, so I love it. This is a great little bracelet. I haven't worn this yet. This was 26 bucks, and it's so cute. It's like a snake with like green jewel eyes and like little pave. Is it pave or pav? I don't know how to say it, but um, like that kind of rhinestone material. And I really like the uh, the links in the chain too. I just think everything about this necklace is perfect. And also, it fit me, which is already a huge statement in and of itself, because I have tiny wrists. And I think it's funny because when, um, you know, my friends, if they try to say, like, oh, my wrists are tiny, like, and I'm like, really, mine are tiny too? And they're like, no, but they're smaller than yours. I'm like, okay. So then I, like, let them try on something that I have had shortened to fit my wrist, and it's, like, squeezing their wrist, and they have to admit to uh, defeat because I legit have like the tiniest wrists of anyone I know. Um, I feel like they don't look that small, but like they really are. So anyway, um, what I like about all the bracelets is that the extension piece uh, really helps me to fit the bracelet to my wrist. And I like that they also on the website, they have a lot of specs for you to look at. So they, sh they uh, list how many inches or whatever the diameter is. And that helps me because I believe that I I'm a certain diameter I measured or something like that so that that helps me gauge whether or not it's gonna fit so I think guys that this is the last piece it's gorgeous it's another delicate one and it's just super pretty it's just such an easy piece that would you know make like a cami or a dress just look that much chicer and it's just delicate so I think it's so pretty and just perfect to like spruce up Guys, I forgot one piece. I'm so sorry. And by the way, just looked over the footage. I feel like my hair looks crazy. Uh, <laughs> um, but I forgot this little guy, this cool skeleton. Um, this is amazing. And by the way, if my nails look really funky, I tried out the Ciate uh, color foil kit and I did a first impressions video just yesterday. So that's it. That's the only piece that I left out. Anyway, guys, I will talk to you later. Bye. Guys, I forgot to mention, but for the pink statement necklace, in-store it was $38, and online it was only $36. So I was like, what? I've been had. Um, I don't know why that was, because they're not ghetto like Brandy Melville. You know, Brandy Melville just like will switch the price on you, and, don't, and they won't even care about it. Um, and if you want to see my brand overview on them, you can go down below. Um, but yeah, I was like, what the hell? Um, so that wasn't cool. I spent two extra dollars. But you know, I feel like maybe uh, it was, maybe it was, I mean, maybe it was just a mistake, you know? I don't think that they usually do it like that. I think it's pretty accurate to what's online in terms of pricing. Um, but yeah, I wanted to bring that to someone's attention. Maybe somebody from Bobble Bar will watch. Uh, but yeah, that was the only item that I had any like issue with. Okay, guys. Hey guys, so I've been thinking and I really want to do a giveaway. So I managed to score this bracelet at the Bobble Bar sample sale for a pretty good price. And I snatched it up so I could give it away to one of you guys. I really wish I could give away like a million things like Oprah and you guys would all be winners. But I think that will come with time hopefully and right now I don't have a million dollars to spend. But anyway, this is one of Bob Bobble Bar's. <laughs> um, this is one of their best selling uh, bracelets and I have one too so you know I love it. 
Um, it's really gorgeous. It comes with these like rose gold kind of beads and then these super beautiful shimmery glamorous um, beads and it just feels really like nice. It feels, has a nice weight to it. It looks amazing. It feels expensive. The whole nine yards. Um, if you guys watch Miss Glamorati's videos then you would probably know she has one of these too. So I'm just saying everyone loves it. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to give this away to one of you guys and I think just make sure you're subscribed to me. I think that that's going to be the only, uh, well, I don't know. What should I do? So I guess, okay. In the comment section of this video, tell me which is your favorite piece in the haul. And then through that, I will just uh, use like random.org, I think is the website. It's a website I use, and it just helps me randomly like pick a number from, you know, one to whatever it is. And I think that it just scrambles it and it picks a random number. And I'll just count down to that person who commented, like if it was the 15th commenter or whatever, so on and so forth. So uh, that's how I'm going to be doing it. So tell me you guys' thoughts. Um, write a comment below about which piece you love the most and why. And I will randomly select you guys, and I guess I'll give it three weeks three weeks you guys have to possibly comment and then the second that i pick a winner i will make a video announcing it so anyway guys okay thanks so much bye